Hey, this is Harold Nixon again with HaroldNixon.com. Today I'm going to be showing you how to uh, do some editing 101 in Cubase. Uh, let's say we, we've done some overdubs here. So let's say on uh, channels 2 and 3 here, we've got uh, some acoustic guitar tracks. It looks like we've done some punches here. Uh, and we, and we kind of kind of go in and clean those up. We want to uh, maybe use the lane functions. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here and choose this lane button click it and select lanes fixed and you can see it kind of opens up uh, multiple takes within the one channel so we'll go ahead and do that to both channels since they're uh, both the identical thing let's go ahead and uh, since we're zoomed, uh, going to be working on these two let's go ahead and zoom in so what we'll do is we'll go down here in the bottom corner and enlarge this so that they're easily viewable to work on see how much that uh, opens that up okay now, the, the track that is green is the one that has the priority. So as you can see, we don't have any tracks underneath these two. Uh, the, of course, keep in mind these are two different channels that are just, uh, uh, we recorded stereo on this. So there's no other tracks underneath this, no other punches, so this is going to default to green. This is going to be the section of audio that's playing. Whereas here we have an overdub. Uh, notice this one's the bottom most one, and it's green because it has priority over this one. The audio will play in the green, and of course when it gets to this point there's an overdub. It chooses this because it's the bottom most, and the green is what plays. Same thing here. We see three tracks. We've got an overdub over top of that other overdub, and since it's the bottom most, it gives priority with the green here. Now one little thing I'd been uh, discussing with one gentleman, and he had never been seeing the green. And I was, I was a little perplexed, but I think I found out what the deal was. If you're not seeing the green on these tracks, uh, more than likely what the deal is there's a preference uh, an option in the preferences that uh, changes this a little bit uh, we can go down to file and then go to preferences uh, under here I noticed a lot of the times I would track I would use this uh, option checked uh, background color modulation and when I apply it what you can see is you have a wave file and it uh, carries that uh, the mass of that file if you will all the way through the top of that file Whereas uh, without that checked, it just literally just shows the WAV file. So if you'll notice, no green. And I was perplexed. I was talking to him on the phone, and I kept thinking, why is it not showing green? Why is it not showing green? So there's the answer if, if you've not seen that. It makes it actually easier to edit uh, with this checked off because uh, I'll, I'll show you. I'll apply it again and see what happens. See how much easier that is to edit. Okay, so I just wanted to show that and point that out. So... Uh, if we're editing two microphones, we always want to edit the same things uh, uh, simultaneously. So what we're going to do is, um, for example, let's say we wanted, uh, on the second take, we actually wanted this section of audio here. We want to listen to it. Uh, and we don't want it in this punch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and choose the split tool. And well, let's first let me go ahead and choose the object tool and I'll select uh, both of these here. So I'm going to click that, and then I'm going to come down here. I'm going to control click. So I'm going to hold down the control key, control key, then click. Now notice both of these now are highlighted. So that means whatever I do on one, I can edit and do on the other. So now I'm going to right click, choose the split key, the little pair of scissors, and when I make an incision on one, it's going to make the incision on the other one. See that? Both identical. Now I want to right click, choose the regular arrow key again there. And now I'm wanting to peel this back. So it should show green for the second take underneath of these. So I'm going to go ahead and peel this back. Notice both of them are still selected. I wanted to do them both at the same time. So I'm going to peel that back. And bam. And of course you'd listen and find wherever it is that you're wanting to peel back to. And you can see the audio priority from the first take. Then we had an overdub here and it goes down to that one. Then we had another overdub. But we didn't like that section so we cut it out and we come back up and we've got that. Of course defaults back here again. If you needed to do some more editing you just click and then hold down the control key again because if you're doing stereo tracks you want to do them both at the same time so control and then click. We got them both highlighted and we can peel these back wherever we want to listen to the audio. If Let's say just for example that uh, we're wanting to audition these. We don't even want to edit. We can uh, right click and choose the mute button the mute uh, uh, function there, whatever that's called, mute tool. If we mute it, you can see it grays it out. Now it doesn't delete the file, 
but it's giving priority to this down here so we could listen to that take and see if we like it. Say, nah, we didn't like that. So we can unmute it again and it shows the priority again there. So this makes uh, editing very easy. Uh, as I said, the, the, the split tool is very, very, very handy. Uh, we choose that and make sure we have them both clicked and when we split, splits them both. Control click. We can peel all we want to, whatever we want to do. Make them however we want them. And um, you, you can even go uh, underneath the other piece here. Uh, so if you had uh, uh, two other sections there, you can see how we can pull it and slide it back under. So these are uh, very easily editable, movable to any point that you want, you know, depending on how much audio you have recorded there. It'll stop at the point where the audio actually recorded. But uh, for this demo, I'd had a ton of extra space on the audio, so I could pull it all the way to the beginning. But uh, that's, that's all there is to uh, uh, comp in your track together. And it, it, if uh, you're done editing and all this, you can uh, choose this lane back off and choose the off there. And it puts it back on one dimension there. So all your edits are just in one track, and you don't see all, the, all that kind of stuff. And, that's all there is really to uh, comping them down to the way you want them. So.